already. What a stage is yours. Uh, <laughs> Where should I put? Yes, exactly. Hey, uh, hello everyone. Hello. Konnichiwa. Uh, uh, I'm Shin Chiroto from Japan. Uh, I'm a Global Gojam Asian uh, coordinator. And here, uh, I'm very happy to hear, to, to share my, uh, our uh, challenges and practices through the, this two years GGJ uh, about designing inclusivity. So in this two, uh, 10 minutes, I'd like to share this two, two years uh, practices and I hope you can get some idea or inspiring and so on. Please enjoy. So uh, I've been uh, organizing the two GGJs now. Uh, one is GGJ Fukuoka 2016, uh, 2017 GGJ Fukuoka again. And uh, I moved to Kyoto uh, this year. So this year I will plan uh, and uh, organize the GGJ Kyoto. But Today, I mainly talk about GGJ Fukuoka uh, last two years. So, by the way, how many people know about Fukuoka? Please raise your hands. Oh, uh, more than my expectations, actually. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, Fukuoka is like this. So, it's a 14th uh, livable city in the world uh, by Monoku magazines. Uh, so it's with nature and with nice food and uh, with nice mountains, compact city like Amsterdam. But in these uh, rankings, uh, Amsterdam is actually 20th, uh, Melbourne is 4th. Oh. Oh. So it's kind of interesting ranking, I think. Yeah, I like Amsterdam also. Too. And uh, also it's known as a uh, UN Habitat uh, region of places uh, for Asian Pacific. Actually, the office is in this building, yeah, with four uh, greens. So first I'd like to share about Global Go Jam Fukuoka 2016, the very first Global Go Jam in Japan in Asia. So we organized a, a two days workshop in uh, Kyushu University School of Design. Uh, it was very exciting. I have the video to share, so please take a look at this. And we have 12 members from seven countries, very international, diverse. And we have three goals, uh, three teams, each team focusing on three goals. One goal. And we started with uh, ice breaking to have a nice uh, atmosphere, fun time. And then we started uh, Sprint 1 to share the, uh, understand the research problems, issues, and uh, uh, sustainable goals. Then after Sprint 1, we had a pitch by each team to share the ideas and what the issue they're focusing on for each goals. And we have dance break. To fun, to have fun. And actually the song is also from the Global Gold Jam, I got uh, SDGs uh, for the gender equality. So first and then we have a Sprint 2, more like for the brainstorming, for creative solution from the Sprint 1. Then we have also pitch. Now we have the, like, uh, uh, scenarios or user interfaces for the solutions and discussing again. Uh, this is actually first day, end of the first day. And uh, I stopped the video here with the beautiful beach in Fukuoka. Uh, the video is also in uh, YouTube, so please take a look at it later. And uh, I can share the one solution from the first GGJ, it's called SUHA. This is an air pollution uh, information network system. Uh, I have small video. We're happy to present SUHA, an air quality network that will provide information about current air pollution level at specific location at specific time. It is an open data system and it will be available to everyone. In order for this system to work, we need a lot of information. We ask local public transport companies to install and measuring devices on every bus. These devices will be provided an air pollution information to the network through all the day, through all the city. Every individual can also contribute to the network. Using these devices while walking with children or going to the nearest park to run, we ourselves can make healthy choices of place and time, but also contribute to the community awareness and statistics of air pollution at every local area. 
So this is a concept concept level idea after two days, uh, but it's very innovative, I think. And we have three ideas after this uh, two days, uh, and the videos, and the documents, and the images that all are on the internet. So if you Google it, you can easily find it. And also we kind of educated twelve jammers uh, designed for SDGs. That's also good outcomes. And it was very fun and exciting two days uh, designing for SDGs. Then we came up with the questions, actually. So, how can we make the GGJ more impactful? Because this is very nice two days, but uh, after the two, these two days, uh, nothing happened, actually. That's pity. So, we can think about, rethink how make these two days more impactful. So, we made a strategy for the GGJ uh, 2017 Fukuoka. There's uh, five strategies. Uh, one is uh, weaving local context. The second is uh, specifying design challenges. And third one is uh, including real stakeholders as design partners. Fourth one is uh, building community. Uh, fifth one is the GGJ, uh, make GGJ as a part of the long-term project. I'm going to uh, tell it about it. So then, GGJ Fukuoka 2017. So first, uh, within the local context, uh, Actually, uh, Fukuoka is a universal design city, and uh, from 2012, uh, we uh, organized uh, this universal Fukuoka city workshop. It's very similar workshop, like a GGJ two days for the universal cities. So we are organizing every year, every year, every year. So then we kind of got an idea to merge these two workshop, a GGJ and the universal Fukuoka city, and. We have uh, this long name, so to make it this name uh, more shorter, uh, we named it this event Design for SDGs in Fukuoka 2014, uh, 17, sorry. Uh, I think the name is kind of inspiring this event also, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, also, we got a uh, nice partners, uh, two partners, actually they are foundation from Japan. Uh, one of the most innovative uh, art and care uh, foundations and uh, they actively do research and uh, activity for the arts uh, by people with disabilities. And uh, they had uh, three years projects about uh, creativity uh, of uh, people with disabilities with the power of uh, internet of things and digital communication. So we made this, uh, this uh, GGJ as part of these big projects. So we set the specific design challenges. Uh, it's a how much we innovate the new system of working for the inclusive and sustainable community in 2013 with technologies such as Internet of Things and digital applications. Uh, it's uh, mainly uh, focusing on the SDGs 11. And it was how it like. Uh, actually, we have 14 with uh, real wheelchair users and uh, nurse. Uh, from the art studio, and actually this art studio is with the people who are with the disabilities. And we also have the mothers, uh, actually, and two years old babies. And I think the he or she is the youngest uh, DJ participants in the world. I never heard of one years old or zero years old participants, so I think that uh, records. And uh, we have also new participants. Uh, actually, there's a visually impaired person and the guide dog. So I think uh, he or she is the very first participant, non-human <laughs> participant, I believe. And uh, he was very nice. He's sitting all the time and uh, talking to the small young girl. It's nice. So uh, as it uh, shows, uh, it's also designed with uh, somebody, but also we try to make it designed by users. And because it's important for the uh, key concept of SDGs, leave no one behind. So we are actively engaging the, or involving those uh, real stakeholders in the workshop. That's a new challenge, and it was successful. So I'd like to share one uh, output from this uh, two days. Actually, this is a team from the mother, and the two years waiting. Uh, it's called Baby BNB. Uh, it's it's like the idea of Airbnb for babies. <laughs> this video.
small prototypes, but it's actually full of And actually, he really used it during the global motion. It was working. The idea is to fold and uh, uh, reassemble and assemble again, so we can easily assemble it like this. So yeah, this idea is actually from the real users, and the, the user had the issues, and the user had the solutions, and the, she designed by themselves. So this is designed by users actually. And uh, also we had a long-term project, it's called Training Digital Makers uh, with a facility, a welfare facility with uh, people who have disabilities. So actually we installed the 3D printers in uh, those facilities and there's an illustrator. Uh, she's very good at illustrating something. And so there's a student's uh, internship, go there to teach uh, how to use the 3D printers, how to, use, uh, how to make 3D models but herself. The actually she uh, actually she drew the illustrates with this pen. So she made a, this pen holder by herself. She designed it and she learned how to make it. Then uh, actually it makes a, a new uh, working opportunity for her. So she got one job for this project. So it's an ongoing project. Actually this is going to be the three years project. So this year, next year we continue it. So it's part of GGJ. But, uh, uh, GGJ makes this uh, project really drive. And uh, another community uh, that started is Kyushu University Faculty of Design started a new initiative called SDGs Design Units uh, this year. And uh, there's also nice websites and uh, various interview research about SDGs and design. So please take a look at this. And uh, we got a nice uh, tweet like uh, Global Gojo Fukuoka leading with the inclusion at the uh, GJ17 where everyone is invited to participate. So that's the main uh, purpose of the GJ17 that I can share. So again, the, I conclude uh, the five strategies that working as a practice uh, within local context, specifying design challenges, including real stakeholders and design partners, in building community and uh, make GJ as a part of long-term projects. So that's all from me. Uh, thank you very much. Hope you will see the global gojam in, uh, yeah, maybe here or in some somewhere in the world. Yeah, thank you very much.